Hello and welcome back to my channel. I can never do my introduction without laughing at myself. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I style my pixie cut. As some of you have been super curious because you either want a pixie cut or you're growing your hair out and just want to know how I get it to look like this. So that is what I'm going to be showing you today. So if you are just curious about how I get my hair to look like this or you just want to see me do my hair, then keep watching. Also, don't forget, I did make a Snapchat for you guys. It's the same as my Instagram and Twitter. I'll put it right here or on this side. I think it's over here though. We'll put it over here. So be sure to add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to see me more often, I guess. And so yeah, let's get into the video. All right guys, so first things first, you wanna start with your hair um, damp or wet. I prefer damp hair, just I have really thick hair so it takes a long time to dry. Damp hair if you can see this. I promise you this is like the easiest thing to do in the world. Really all you're gonna need is a blow dryer and a little round brush. Mine's a little dirty, don't look at it. If you want to, if your hair is at this point, you can use a straightener to help fix some pieces. So before I turn the blow dryer on and you're unable to hear anything that I'm about to say, pretty much all you're gonna do is part your hair and then blow dry the hair back in the direction like that. Is, can you see what I'm doing? All you're gonna do is take the blow dryer and blow dry the hair in this direction. If the hair falls this way, you're gonna blow dry it this direction. And then for the back, I pretty much just finger comb it and let the blow dryer do its thing. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy blow dryer and I'm gonna do that. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. It looks a little funky, but we're gonna fix it in a second, I promise. So if I didn't mention before, I just use the low setting to just kind of get the hair to go in the direction that I'm wanting it to go. Now that all of my roots are dried facing the way that I need them to go, I'm just gonna turn the blow dryer on high and I'm pretty much just going to blast my entire head with the blow dryer and just get the ends to dry as well. So this is what I have now. You're probably thinking, Joe, do you really know how to do your hair? And the answer is no. <laughs> so I know that right now my hair does look incredibly crazy, but the reason why my hair looks like this now and doesn't look like this later is because it's so thick and so heavy that it just weighs itself down throughout the day. So if I don't start the day with like a little bit of in it, it'll just be like really flat all day. So pretty much now all I'm doing is just pushing this hair on this side behind my ear. The reason why I do that is because I have these little pieces that I'm trying to grow out and it just doesn't look very good when I have it down on both sides in my opinion. So I just tuck it behind my ear. I think it makes me look younger, I guess. <laughs> so can you see what I'm doing? So for this side, I do leave some of these pieces in front because I personally think it looks better. It just looks weird to me if I have both sides pushed behind my ears. I have dark hair, so it's hard to see. But um, if your hair is long enough, you can take a straightener to it. I don't straighten the top all the time because that's just an extra 10 minutes that I have to take out of my day to do that. So. It's not really a huge deal. I will today, just so that I can show you what it looks like. If you have thinner hair, I would recommend using a volumizing gel, like a, a blow drying volumizing gel to put in your hair to give it a little more volume so it's not as flat. So one thing that does bother me is that I have like a little calic right here in the front of my head. When I let it air dry naturally, it literally like loops and goes down. It's very annoying. So when it does get very humid here and I'm outside for a while, my hair will naturally start to do that. So I am gonna go ahead and straighten it just to show you guys how I fix that. Using my mom's straightener 
and I think she watches my videos. So hi mom, I'm borrowing your bathroom for the day. All I'm gonna do is just take little pieces and I'm just going to straighten them back. I'm not really gonna curl them or do them straight down. You need to like push them in the direction that you want them to go. So I'm just gonna take it and straighten it back like that. As the hair cools, I try to push it back on my head like this so that as it's cooling the hair will just keep the shape that I want it to have. This is my first time having a pixie cut, so it's an adventure for all of us. Mom, you need a new straightener, goodness gracious. This whole side is like lopsided today. It's being weird. So looking in this mirror, my hair, this is pretty much as good as it's gonna get today. <laughs> I do not get my hair cut to be styled this way. I just had it buzzed on the sides and it was long on the top and I've just been letting it grow since the last time I had it cut. I'll insert a picture somewhere so you can see what it looked like before I got it cut last or when I got it cut last. <laughs> December was the last time that I had my hair cut and it was buzzed on the sides, so it's grown that much since December. So it's a pretty good amount. So I'm just letting it grow now, and this is what it looks like, and this is how I styled it. It's not the cutest by any means, and I probably could cut it to make it look better, but I don't want to cut it because then it's gonna take longer for it to grow, and I don't want that. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know a couple of you were asking me how I styled my hair from wet to dry and that's how I do it. So I do hope that this was helpful to some of you and if you really don't care about how I style my hair, I'm sorry that you just watched this whole video. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. I hope you also enjoyed today's video and um, I will see you next week. You know what's funny? I have this really cute shirt on and then I have my pajama pants on because I'm gonna take this off <laughs> in like two minutes. Oh no, my eyelash is coming off. Oh, should I like pose for a thumbnail? Fun fact, I don't ever pose for my thumbnails. I just take like screenshots from the actual video and I just make something out of it. Okay, this is weird, I have to stop. Okay, bye.